We recently added a new space to our house. The project took months and months, but I'm really happy with how things have turned out. The new wardrobe I chose for this new space is the IKEA packs. Honestly, I'm loving it way more than my much more expensive fitted wardrobe, and here is why. So I had my fitted wardrobe for 12 years before moving on to the IKEA packs. It is really solid and substantial, but it lacks flexibility. The wardrobe was designed when we first moved in. I couldn't fault the designer. He really took the time to listen to what I wanted. However, the design was a reflection of what I needed 12 years ago. As time went by, I did a lot of adjustment to my wardrobe content, but I hadn't been able to fully adapt the wardrobe itself to accommodate to those changes. For example, this shelf was a DIY job. This compartment was originally designed with a hanging rail for clothes. Over the years, as my handbag collection grew and I started having a clearer picture of my own dressing style, I needed more space for my bags and less for my clothes. So I asked my husband to install this shelf for me. It didn't take long to do, but it was a bit of a challenge to find a similar looking piece of wooden board. I also decided to leave the hanging rail in case if I ever needed to use it again. This is why I started looking at the IKEA pack system because it's easy to install and reorganize. If I need a new drawer or a new shelf, for example, the parts are readily available and they are easy to assemble. I don't need to source anything or worry about things not matching. My things and bag collection have gone through a lot of changes in the last 10 years and I know those changes will keep coming. So it's reassuring to know that I can easily adjust the storage system to suit my needs. As you can see, I'm not the best in DIY. The shelf I installed was completely lopsided. But no worries, after a few attempts, I finally got it in the right place. And this is why I love the IKEA pack system because you can easily make changes and you don't need to hire any help for that. This IKEA wardrobe is made of four frames. Each of them measures 75 centimeter wide. Again, my main focus is flexibility when deciding on the choice of my new wardrobe. Currently, I have no plan to radically downsize, but if I do change my mind in the future, it's nice to know I can easily remove all the compartments and maybe have the space to store other things such as my filming gear, tripods, lighting, and maybe even my art supplies. And if I really do need to downsize, I can always take everything apart and put one of the frames away. By the way, I have actually ordered two pairs of sliding doors for this wardrobe. But now I actually quite like the looks of an open wardrobe. Let me know what you think because I'm quite indecisive about this. I mean, if I hide everything behind the doors, the room might look cleaner and less distracting. But without the doors, it's so much easier to get my things. Anyway, I'll really appreciate it if you can share your thoughts. Going back to my fitted wardrobe, I should also mention the hanging rails are actually too high for me. I've never really shown it on the camera, but I often had to tiptoe to get my clothes. Honestly, it took so much effort and it made organizing quite painful. In fact, on several occasions when I had to pack for a trip or declutter, I actually had to step on the stool just to make the job more manageable. Sometimes I do wonder if the designer had misjudged my height, but to be fair, I only came to notice the problem myself when I started using the wardrobe. I know you can now install those pull down rails, but I just kept putting it off for some reason. With the IKEA packs, however, I have the liberty of adjusting the rail position to my satisfaction, and I'm still able to optimize the storage space around it. The drawers on my fitted wardrobe are also very generous. But seeing I'm not keen on stacking things on top of each other, I find these drawers to be a little bit too deep. 
I did inquire about redesigning the drawers, but I just couldn't justify the costs. Not to mention, I might want them changing yet again five years down the line. The IKEA drawers, on the other hand, are a lot more space efficient for my needs. I'm able to minimize the negative space between the drawers without compromising on the storage. Something else I really like about having an IKEA pack is that their organization or compartment pieces fit like a glove. Therefore, there's no need to custom make anything. I'm sure we all know anything that's made to measure means paying more and waiting longer. I mean, a lot longer. Another reason I opted for the IKEA packs is because of the cost. This whole wardrobe costs slightly over a thousand pounds, whereas the average quote I got for a fitted one came up to about seven times the price. It's a massive difference, and for me, it's not something I can justify. Twelve years ago, I paid about two thousand pounds for my fitted wardrobe. It's a fairly simple design, but of course, you always have to factor in the labor and the material costs. To be honest, I think I just got a bit carried away. The idea that someone would personalize my wardrobe for me and take care of everything seemed really appealing. But looking back, I kind of wish I had considered other options as well. For me, there are two downsides of the IKEA packs. The first one is that it's not fitted, so it doesn't look as sleek and tidy as a fitted wardrobe. Saying that, I've been doing some research online, and it looks like you can make your IKEA wardrobe look built in, but it takes some time and some DIY skills. I did find a company that provides this kind of service, but they charge more than the wardrobe itself. To be honest, even though I've had a fitted wardrobe for years, it really doesn't bother me that the IKEA wardrobe doesn't look built in. But I guess I'm casual about it because I know even if I change my mind in the future, at least the option is always there, and it will still work out to be cheaper than having a fitted wardrobe. The second downside of the IKEA Pax wardrobe is. Is certainly nowhere as solid as a fitted one, but I actually see that as a pro rather than a con. The fact that it's not as heavy or robust makes it easy to readjust and repurpose. Now, just like any other flat pack furniture, the truth is you don't get the best finishing or the most hard wearing materials. I mean, the IKEA Pax wardrobe certainly doesn't have the most fabulous looks, but it does the job nicely and is relatively hassle-free. In all honesty, though, it might not feel as substantial or even luxurious, but I don't see it falling apart or needing replacement in the soon future. I've decided to leave these shelf holes as they are because they allow easy readjustment. Some people might find them unsightly. If they really bother you, you can easily fill them with some poly filler and paint over that. But if you're not too keen about doing any DIY, there are these cover caps that you can get from IKEA to cover up those holes. This IKEA wardrobe certainly took us some time to put together. My husband and I spent four afternoons after work to work on this, so it's not completely effortless. You do need to put in the work and the time. There were also some hiccups with the delivery. Certain pieces were damaged, and I also didn't receive a few items with my order. So even though I paid for the delivery, I had to make a trip to IKEA myself to get the replacement pieces and the missing parts. So this project ended up taking quite a bit longer than I expected. So it is cheaper for a reason because you're not getting a premium merchandise or a VIP service. But to be honest, it was quite satisfying to put together the entire wardrobe for myself. Now that everything is done and dusted, I'm quite happy with my wardrobe. 
all in all, I'm really enjoying my IKEA packs, mostly because of its practicality and flexibility. I think a wardrobe is a bit similar to a handbag. You can do all your research, but you wouldn't really know for sure what you like or not like about it until you put it to use. So for me, it's important to have room for adjustment and to know it's easy to do. Now, I'm not suggesting everyone should go for an IKEA PAX wardrobe. This is just my thought after having first-hand experience with both a fitted wardrobe and the IKEA PAX. Everyone has different budget, needs and preferences, so I do hope you watch this video with a pinch of salt. At the end of the day, only you know what works best for you. So that's it from me. Don't forget to like the video. Thank you for being here today and I will see you very soon.